So today we've got Bingham's Bacon Bombs. So if you want an easy meal, bombs are awesome because you can just grab this, turn your oven on, or your smoker to 350. The instructions are right here on the bottom of the sticker in the blue. So this one's a chicken jalapeno. It's one of the most popular bombs that Bingham sells. Um, so we've got cook instructions, 350 for one and a half hours, or internal temp of 165. What you do, you'll buy them. This is the average size. You can buy it either in the store or online at BinghamCustomMeats.com. This one is $15. This is the packaging that it's in. You can open it up. We've got the back here. So we've got this plastic wrap around, the, around it. You just pull that open. Then on this, we've got our vacuum seal bag. Hair tab right here at the top. And if you just pull that across, up. You don't even need to use scissors to open these bags. Yeah, and so you've got this. If I'm gonna put this on the smoker, this is exactly how I'm gonna put it on the smoker, just in this net. Just let it fall out of this bag onto the grill. A bomb in the oven, I would grab the bomb and I would put it in a glass dish or a cook dish, something that we can put it in. Um, and so that when all the bacon grease cooks, it just falls into the dish instead of all over my oven. Okay, so we're going to take our bomb, we're going to take it straight out of the bag and put it straight on the grate. We're not going to take the net off or anything like that, so let's just go straight on it. I'm going to close it. It's going to cook for about an hour and a half. So I'm going to put a probe in it, wait till it reaches 165, and pull it off. Yeah, you can eat it for lunch. So we've had the bomb on there for about an hour and a half, and it is ready to come off because it is at 165 internal temperature. So let's pull it up. Wrap it up and let it sit for about 10 minutes. Pull it out. Oh, that looks good. So this is what the bomb looks like when you're done cooking it, right? You still got that net on it. The reason you want to let them rest is because some of the bombs have cheese in them. And that cheese goes everywhere um, if you cut right into it. So I've got a six inch boning knife. You can get one of these at Bingham's. We've got Epic or Rick Tornox or uh, Victory Knives. So the Victory Knives will have the Bingham's logo. Um, they're really nice, really nice and sharp. This is our bomb. We've got this net on here still. We're gonna cut this net off, okay? Make sure to get all the net off. Nobody wants to be eating. Net. net. No. Just me. Cream cheese and jalapeno. Here's our bomb, our chicken jalapeno bomb with the net cut off. One of the things that's easy to do is you can just follow the lines actually from the net. Those will give you good even slices all the way across. And we'll cut through all the way to the bottom. Okay, so this is our bomb. This is what's on the inside. You've got uh, chicken breast, cream cheese, and jalapenos. You don't need to season it. These are all pre-seasoned. So don't worry about adding seasoning to it because you're gonna change the entire dynamic of the flavor of the bomb if you do that. So everything is pre-seasoned. You kinda don't have to do anything. It's really easy. You just have to either heat up your oven or heat up your smoker, throw it on, pull it off, and cut it up. Oh, can't do it, there's too much smoke. Gotta pause it.